Hello, this is TT Lemon again, and today I have two more elevators to show you. There's this one, which is the smallest up and down elevator in Minecraft. I must fit it now into a 4x4 four four space, which is a bit smaller than this. But this still works a bit more efficiently, but this is smaller. And this 2x6 design, which I think is the smallest going up. But you do need this very complicated contraption here to get yourself aligned right so you don't fall through it. Right, this one is the 4x4 up and down elevator. It's 10 meters a second going up and 5 meters a second coming down. You can go into it. It's pretty smooth action. It's not smooth as the other one, but it's a sacrifice for the space. Pretty fast going up and it'll pop you out like that. So the design is um pretty simple. The way I managed to fit it smaller is because on this one I have the torch tower going up the side which is basically this one changed a bit for pulling the pistons back but then I just used the pink circuit anyway for pulling them back at the end at different times like that like that is pulling the pistons back so I thought wait a minute I don't really need that extra bit for retracting it so the way I have it here is when it powers it just pushes it out and it leaves the um, normal piston out in the um, shaft of the elevator if I just get a sticky piston so it's left like this and then when the pink circuit activates at the end like that, that goes down and it'll pull all the um, blocks back so I managed to get it in a much smaller space and it also does have the feature where up here at the top you can press the button and it will just bring you down. So now we have this elevator. This elevator is 2x6 per layer. 10 meters second up with no going down but water drops pretty easy. Now this may look a bit intimidating but it is quite easy to get in. You just come in here, push up against this fence, just walk forward until you hit the fence and just hold spacebar and you're up if you get pushed up by the water which puts you right into place if you're having a bit of inconsistencies like I just had there you do need to remember to push yourself right into these glass panes like this, so you're on the fence push in, then I'm going to hold back now I can let go and I should stay in the glass panes and these are just here to keep me in the middle as well keep you aligned and as long as you align yourself properly you will go up 100% of the time. I haven't tested this in multiplayer, but I assume it will be a bit buggy due to the nature of multiplayer and pistons putting in pistons pushing entities around are a bit buggy anyway. Now I'll just show you how this aligns you. Basically, this pressure plate is just to stop you dead from like the redstone. It doesn't have any purpose. It just connects there. You push onto here. It's on the trip wire. The trip wire is on a falling edge detector, so when you get off it, then the elevator fires. This is just here, it doesn't really do much, it just helps you line up. Then when you jump up, this um, water will pull you up, and it's flowing through the side a bit, which will push you into this gate, and that aligns you just about right. And that, and you push yourself back with your back out, and that just helps you get into the glass panes better and hold yourself straight, because occasionally, you do get in it a bit wrong at the bottom like I did earlier and you fall through it You, if you've got in it correctly you shouldn't fall through it halfway up but in multiplayer that may happen and yeah so I'm not going to do tutorial today I need a bit of practice building it I've got the platform set up there and I should have videos on the tutorials for these elevators up in a week or two so thank you for watching and this has been TT Lemon